Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and we are going to do another related rates problem. This one is the ladder problem. Uh, this is a very common problem in calculus, so let's take a look at it. A fixed length ladder. Now, this says fixed length, so the ladder is not going to be changing size. So let's make sure we know that. 15, uh, fix, fixed length 15 foot ladder is leaning against a wall and is sliding away from the wall at a rate of 3 feet per second. So let's draw what's going on right at the given so far. So this is what we are told so far. We have this ladder leaning against the wall, and it's these problems kind of crack me up because this ladder sliding away. Hopefully that doesn't happen when you're on the ladder, but anyway, we're going to just go ahead and assume that. Uh, this is 15 feet, and it's leaning against the wall and is sliding away, so that means it's going in that direction of 3 feet per second. All right. What is the rate? So this is, again, a rate, and this is a dx dt. So let's just call this a y. We'll call this an x. And what is the rate of change in the height? So in other words, this is what we need. We need a dy dt of the top of the ladder. So this is sliding down as well. As the ladder slides out, it slides down. This length of the ladder does not change. Uh, what is a uh, change in height of the top of the ladder from the ground when the foot of the ladder is five feet? So in other words, we want to know when x is five feet, how quickly is this falling down here, this y component? And we know what the x component is sliding away at. So let's go ahead and we have what we need. So let's go ahead and continue on from there. Okay. This is going to be a Pythagorean theorem problem because we've got our x squared, y squared, and our hypotenuse. So we're going to use that formula for this related rates problem. And this doesn't change. This is going to stay as 15. So I'm going to go ahead and put that constant there as 15 squared. Now, let's go ahead and see what we can do. Next step would be to implicitly differentiate. So that's how we do related rates again. We set up all our givens, determine the equation we want to use. Now let's implicitly differentiate and then do any substitutions we have. So over here, we we're going to have 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt. And over here, we're going to get 0 because I'm going to differentiate this. And that should make sense because it's not changing in length that way. There is no rate there. All right, dx dt, they tell me, is 3 feet per second. When it's 5 feet away, and here we've got 2y dy dt, I'm solving for this dy dt. And I don't know this y, but I really do know this y, because if I set up what I'm given so far, that's 5 feet, that's 15 feet, I can solve for what that y would be. And y would end up being the square root of 15 squared minus 5 squared, which is the square root of 225 minus 25, so that's 200 which is 10 root 2, but let's go ahead and keep it as a decimal. So as a decimal, that's going to be 14.1421. So let's substitute all our values in. Over here, we're going to end up with... Let's finish it right up over here. we got a little bit more room. This ends up being 5 times 2 is 10, so 30 plus 2 times 14.1421 dy dt equals 0. Now let's take a look at the units again. This ended up being uh, the x was feet, and this is feet per second, so feet squared. This is feet squared per second. This is going to be feet squared, or feet per second, and then uh, that will be the feet per second, and this one will be the feet. So we'll end up with feet squared per second. So when we solve for the y, we'll end up with feet per second as those will cancel out. So let's finish this and solve for our dy dt. Now we'll bring this over and we're going to get negative 30 on the other side. So our final answer when we divide it out will be negative 1.0607 feet per second. Again, we had feet uh, over here, feet squared per second. We divided out a foot, so we ended up with feet per second. Now. Does this make sense? Yes, it's a negative. Sounds reasonable. And the fact that it's a negative, it's because it's sliding down. Okay, 
So the key for these latter problems, again, let's take a look. Let's identify the keys. When we do this, it's a fixed length. So this, when we differentiate it, will be 0. Secondly, we need Pythagorean theorem for these fixed latter ones and differentiate each. You typically be given either that it's going down at a certain rate and you have to solve for how far out it's sliding or the other way around like this problem was. So look for those key points. You'll be able to do these latter problems without any problem. All right, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this helped and good luck with all your related rates problems.